Artzuka! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artzuka. <laughs> I love painting on just about anything. Paper, canvas, tin foil. Painting on tin foil. Now that is our zuka. Let's make a tin foil painting. Tin foil is great to work with, but it's not very strong. So I'm gonna put it on something sturdy. Cardboard. I think I'll make a cat today. So let's draw a cat. We don't need much detail, just a nice simple cat shape. There's my ear. That. Once you have your cat shape drawn out and you're happy with it, cut it out. And when it's cut, it'll look like this. I'm going to use both of these pieces of cardboard. And this is where we'll work on our cat. Let's give the cat a face. I took a paper plate and cut out a little circle Place that right down like that. And now I'll give it eyes and a nose. I'll use some more cardboard for this. I've cut it into shapes. So that can be the nose. Those can be the eyes. And then these strips look kind of interesting here. And then of course this cat is so happy because I'm such a great owner and I give him a nice big smile. What else does this cat need? Cat stripes. A few extra strips, I just place them onto the cat. Just like that. I also cut out a few other shapes, just a bunch of circles, and I'll place those down because I love working on the background. You can add anything that raises up your picture. Craft foam, modeling clay, all that stuff works really great. I'm using cardboard so that when I add the tin foil, everything that's raised up really pops. Okay, now we wanna glue all of this into place and when it dries, it'll look something like this. And this is one that I did earlier. Now we get to add the tin foil. I've got some glue mixed with water and I'll take my paintbrush and paint the glue on like this. You want to cover the whole thing with glue, and then it'll be time to tin foil. Take the tin foil, lay it over top of the glue, and rub it into place, just like this. When I rub over these cardboard shapes, you can see the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. I'll add more glue. You can work with one big piece of foil or smaller pieces like this. Whatever you find works best. And if it tears, just glue another piece on top. Once I've covered the whole thing in tin foil, it'll look something like this one that I did earlier. We can still play with it a bit more. Remember how I said I love to paint on tin foil? I love this part. I've added just a drop of dish soap to some paint so it will stick to the tin foil. I can dab it on. Just like that. I can paint the whole picture by dabbing like this, but here's a cool trick. With some cloth or some paper towel, wipe away some of the paint. And when you do that, the paint spreads out. See that? The paint gets trapped in all the little grooves of the tinfoil, and it looks so cool. You can decide how much of the paint you want to wipe away. The more you wipe, the lighter it will be. I'm going to wipe away paint from the flat parts of the picture and paint on the parts that are raised up. And when it's done, it'll look like this. I finished this one earlier. I wiped a lot of the paint away in some spots and left it in others. It makes it look as though I've used different colors, but it's all just black paint. And check out this frame. It's just a bunch of popsicle sticks. I painted them black and then 
I tape them to the back. And there's also a little string, and now I can hang it up. This painting is magical. It's a work of art, Zuka. I think this tinfoil painting is beautiful. If you want to make one of your own, start with a piece of cardboard you cut into the shape of a cat. You can add more cardboard pieces to decorate. Once you have your picture the way you like it, glue everything in place. To add the tinfoil, paint the cardboard with glue and press the tinfoil down. You can use big or small pieces, they both work. Once the cardboard is covered in foil and dry, you can paint it. It works to use a brush or you can smear the paint on with a paper towel. I like to add a lot of paint, then rub it off in some spots, but not in others. When you're happy with your painting, you can build a frame for it. This one's made out of popsicle sticks I painted black. If you missed any of this, don't worry. It's all at artzuka.com. Artzuka! Ready to do one of my favorite art projects with me? We don't need glue or paint or craft foam or markers or anything like that. We just need rocks. Yep, just rocks. And of course, a little art zuka imagination. Stacking one on top of the other is a super achievement. Stacking four is pure magic. You can use really big rocks and make a giant rock sculpture in your backyard, or you can use smaller ones like these and put them in your house. Now this might sound funny, but you're actually doing something very artistic. Look at the shapes of the rocks and how they mix and match with each other. And it's also scientific because it's all about gravity and figuring out how to balance them. <laughs> Looks like gravity won that time. Let's try again. That seems pretty balanced so far. I'll carefully add this one. It can sometimes be easy and sometimes challenging. Keep trying until you get the right balance. And when you do, you've got yourself a one-of-a-kind rock sculpture creation. I'd love to see your rock sculpture. Send me a picture to artzuka.com. Paper bag! Yeah! Paper, paper bag!
Hi, Jeremy. My name is Aska. I challenge you to make something with a sup and a sewing box. That's a good one. Let's see what I can art Zuka. Hmm, an embroidery ring, a tape measure, some scissors? Hmm. It's a whale. It's all in how you look at it. Oh, duct tape. It's an artist's best friend. This stuff is a whole lot of fun. It's sticky, it's strong, and I've got a great idea. Let's make a duct tape wallet. But not just any wallet, one with character. Hmm. Okay, I need something wallet size, so let's start off with a brown piece of paper about this size. It's the shape of the rectangle. I just fold it like this. One fold there, and one right there. It's kind of like folding a letter. This part here is where the money goes. First, I want to cover the inside and the outside with duct tape because I don't want to see the brown paper every time I open it. I'll start off with a little bit of red tape. And we'll do the inside first. Well, look at this. I have a bunch of duct tape going over the sides. Well, the cool thing about this is since I have no duct tape on this side, I can fold it over. Fold it there. Fold it at the top too. I've covered the whole inside with duct tape and now I can do the outside. I think I'll start with this tab right here and let's make it yellow. I've got my yellow duct tape. I can just lay it right over like that. Now I just want to cover up the rest and I'll use some blue. Like that. Perfect. I have it all duct taped, but you can see I have some extra hanging over the sides. I could fold this into the red, but I really like this color red and I don't want to mix it with the other colors. Here's a little tip. Take your scissors and cut that extra tape off. When you're cutting your tape, sometimes it can be a little sticky, so go ahead and cut the edge of the paper too. That'll make it a lot easier to cut. Now my wallet is totally taped, and check this out. Hmm? This little flap sort of reminds me of a creature's mouth. I'm gonna shape it up a little more to make it look more like a mouth, using my scissors. And it's just gonna be a nice rounded cut. I'll take the corner off, and then I'll do the other corner. There we go. For the inside of the mouth, I'll make a nice big cut right here. And it kind of looks like a big smile.
It's looking pretty good, but with some leftover cardstock, I cut out some teeth. Now these ones here, they're smaller because they're on the bottom. And these are bigger because they're on the top. So they'll go right up like that. That looks pretty good. And then the bigger ones can go right over top. So let's fold this down here. All right, I know where I want to put my teeth. I just have to tape them into place. With an extra piece of red duct tape, I'll put a strip right here. Let's see how that looks. Now it looks good, but we got this one tooth that's sticking up a little bit here. Kind of a snaggle tooth. I'll play dentist and with my scissors, cut that tooth a little shorter. There, now he can close his mouth. Now for the top teeth. And I think he's ready to eat up my allowance. Hope he doesn't eat all of it. Now that I have my teeth in place, what I want to do is tape this bottom part down so that my wallet isn't flying open all the time. With some nice, big, long pieces of blue duct tape, I can tape that like this. Perfect. So now my wallet is nice and secure and he has teeth, but he can't see anything because he has no eyes. So check this out. I found a couple of washers and they were just hanging out in my trunk of junk and I thought these would be perfect for eyes. I just taped them to pieces of paper like that. And then put some duct tape on the back. I'll take a black marker and color in his eyeballs. That looks great, but check this out. I found this piece of tape and folded it in half so it isn't sticky on either side. I can use more tape and attach it to the back like this. One strip here and one strip here. By taping it on like that, I've created a little loop. And this loop will be great for a strap. I'm gonna use a shoelace and just put it through the loop like this. And now I can tie it around my waist if I want. And there it is, my duct tape wallet buddy. Now I just need something to go with it. Hmm. Oh, how about a duct tape hat? And a duct tape hat would look great with my duct tape tie, which would go really nicely with my duct tape suit. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> Me too. Huh? Eh? Eh. To make your own duct tape wallet, start with a piece of paper you fold like a letter. Use colorful duct tape to decorate on both sides. You can trim your wallet in the shape of a mouth. I cut some teeth out of cardstock and duct tape them on too. You can use washers or bolts to make eyes for your critter. Tape the wallet together with even more colorful duct tape. If you want to add a strap, you can attach a piece of folded duct tape to the back of your wallet and slide a shoelace or string through. Now it's ready to wear. For more fun ideas, check out Artzuka.com. Artzuka! And now time for an Artzuka safety message. Remember, Totem poles are fun to build, but they don't always make good hats. And our Zuka challenge! For my Art Zuka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a plastic bottle, and a box of paints. I put them in a movie starring Paper Bag. Come on, and see what I made. Oh, and I also put something else in the movie. A hair clip. 
See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artsuka. Here's the plastic bottle and the box of paints. Can you guess what it's going to be? It's a circus truck. Now let's see it in a movie. Did you like the movie? I made a circus truck out of a plastic bottle and a box of paints. Hey, did you spot the hair clip? Take another look at where I put it. I challenge you to make something out of a plastic bottle and a box of paints. Be creative, anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artsuka website, artsuka.com. What will you Artsuka today? <laughs>